Hi, everyone. My name is Selena Belial, and I am the founder and one of the board approved CE providers here at CE Institute, where we teach classes and CE credit for the Florida Board of Nursing, Florida Board of Massage, and Florida Board of Cosmetology. And right now, I'm going to show you an aromatherapy hand scrub in what you would practice in a dry treatment room. You could also practice this at a seated table at manicure stations and more. So we're going to scrub and then we're going to use water to dissolve the scrub, uh, remove the scrub with hot towels, or in this case, I think it's just a lightly damp towel. And then we're going to show you some hand massage we would provide afterwards. So this is almost like practicing a hand facial and it's a great little add on service that you can add on to massage appointments. It's great to provide if you're doing a facial and the client's masking and you have a few minutes while they're masking, you could do a hand scrub. There's a number of reasons why you could add on a hand scrub. Maybe you're tardy running behind for your appointment. So you want to give the client a little something extra special rather than money off the appointment for your tardiness. You could give them a complimentary hand scrub, lots of different reasons. Now we teach hand scrubs in some of our classes here at CE Institute. If you want to learn more, we hope you do register with us. This is our website right here. It's CE, as in continuing education, ceinstitute.com. And we have our social icons at the bottom of the menu bar on our website. This is, we have an Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, as well as the YouTube station where you can view this free training video. So without further ado, let me show you how we practice a hand scrub in a dry treatment room. This training unit is part of a larger training unit in a home study course we offer at the school. Enjoy. Right now, I'm just going to show you what I would do in a dry treatment room, which could also be at a manicure table, on a massage table, um, while a client is receiving an aesthetics facial. Many times that you can apply a hand scrub. So first, I'm going to apply some massage lotion or cream to the skin because I'm using a pretty abrasive sugar scrub here. And I want to make sure I'm not scrubbing dry skin. So moisturizing the skin first is a nice way to scrub. You're literally scrubbing through lotion. And as you ablate the skin, which means you're putting little cuts in the skin, the moisturizer is going to leak right in there and moisturize even deeper. Right now I've got my pinky finger and I'm trying to supinate the client's hand, but they're almost in a coma on a massage table here. I got my pinkies between the client's thumb and pointer and pinky, pinky and middle finger to do the palm. And now I'm going to do each finger individually, moisturizing the whole hand before I take my scrub right here. These are little paper cups that you can, they're disposable, environmentally friendly, and you can put them in the towel cabbies to keep the scrub warm. We're scrubbing the whole back dorsal portion of the hand right now. Very light strokes with my finger pad. Now I'm doing thumbs and my thenar eminence to the back of the hand, the dorsal hand, and now I'm scrubbing each of the fingers individually. You want to pay particular attention around the client's knuckles and joints because the joints are usually where the skin is a little bit thicker and harder. If the client has any hangnails, avoid scrubbing around a hangnail because that will likely bleed. Okay, so we're continuing all different types of maneuvers here. You should go with your heart and whatever feels best in your scrubbing. You just don't want to like grind the abrasive into the skin because we would never want to draw blood with our scrub. And it's possible. It's pretty abrasive. Okay. So now I'm again doing every finger individually while the hand is supinated. And the goal here is to remove the top dead layer of skin to reveal new fresh skin underneath and moisturize it so you can have nice, soft, supple skin. Now, when you're performing an aromatherapy scrub, if you've used like an ounce of cream and an ounce of scrub, you can put one to a couple drops of essential oil in your scrubs and lotions, okay? 
So I'm continuing to scrub here each individual finger. Looks like my client just woke up and moved their hand a little bit. <laughs> continuing to scrub, 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 scrub. And I've scrubbed pretty much to my satisfaction. Now I'm going to take some water. And first I am applying the water to my own hands to dissolve the sugar. And now I'm applying that water to the client's hands, okay, to dissolve the sugar into this, it's going to be like a white milky substance between the white cream and the white granules of sugar um, that I've used in this aromatherapy hand scrub. Really dissolving all the sugar with the water, and you can do this with massage strokes, so it feels really nice you know, to have somebody pampering your hands like this. Once you've dissolved all of the sugar, you can then take a towel and just wipe away that sugary, sticky emulsion. Okay. You're not done yet. The hand's still sticky. So we need to thoroughly clean the hand and we're going to moisturize the hand after we've cleaned it. So the scrub is done and it was a deep moisturizing scrub because we applied cream with essential oil in it and massaged the hand before we scrubbed over it. I just stepped away because I grabbed myself a nice towel to wipe away. This towel is a little bit moist to remove some of that sticky substance. You can use a hot towel to remove the sticky substance or a slightly moist one if you're in a dry treatment room and you don't want things dripping wet. Now I'm putting my aromatherapy cream that I've pre-blended and massaging the entire hand with my aromatherapy cream, which you can do your client intakes first, determine the client's goals and needs and then add essential oils for whatever use common use or benefits the client is seeking through here i'm just doing typical hand massage we're doing some cervical i'm sorry some rotations of the carpals a little bit more massage of the palmar surface of the hand using my thumbs here to do some circular friction on the palm of the hand I'm giving a nice massage through the fingers, through the palm, and through the dorsal surfaces of the hand. This took me about seven minutes to do one hand. So you can do a hand scrub in about a 15-minute treatment, and it'll be nice and thorough. So 15-minute add-ons for hand scrubs is a nice little income boost if you have time and want to offer it to your clients during a regular massage service. If you're practicing facials and they're under facial mask, upgrading and adding a hand scrub and moisturizing treatment during your facial service while they're masking might be a great option too. <laughs> now to show this on camera, I literally like physically forced my client into supinated position. They supinated position on a massage table is usually pretty natural unless your client is in a coma and then they just might want to be lying there stiff. And finishing up the massage here, that is what your aromatherapy hand scrub and hand massage would look like. And you are done.